so in this video I will give more information about what is uh, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and I will derive the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic or we will derive the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and then we will also see into the equation of the mutual inductance and self inductance so suppose that there is a coil the coil has is wound over an iron core or something and it has a n number of turns and there is a flux which is associated with the coil is changing suppose this is a coil and the flux associated with the coil is uh, coil is changing this is a flux which is passing through the core so uh, it could be said that if the flux uh, initially was phi 1 and after a time of t which was my time of the observation the flux changed to uh, change to phi 2 and then the Faraday's law says that an EMF will be induced uh, in the circuit which will be equal to the rate of change of flux linkage which can be given by E is equal to n phi 2 minus n phi 1 divided by T so this will be the EMF which will be induced in the coil as a flux change from phi 1 to phi 2 and if you are considering the time and this will be equal to n of phi 2 minus phi 1 divided by t and will be given in volts so this EMF will be equal to the rate of change of the flux linkage which can be given by e is equal to n d phi by dt and this EMF which is equal to E is equal to n d phi by dt which is induced in this coil will be in such a direction as if suppose there is a supply voltage which is supplying the V voltage then a EMF will be induced in this coil which is E will be always opposite to the supply voltage so it will be opposed in a direction or it will be opposed <coughs> such as to uh, make or oppose the source producing producing it so this is known as the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction so the first is that whenever the flux linking is changing suppose I am supplying an AC current here so the flux linking is changing or somehow I am varying the DC voltage which I am supplying is a variable DC voltage which is changing so that the flux change from phi 1 to phi 2 so what happened was that an EMF got induced and now this EMF could be easily given by this equation of Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and this direction of the EMF will be always opposite to the cause which was producing it So, so this was a coil which I can connect it in this way then the flux will have a path the path of the flux could be from in this way so and it is said that the self inductance of the coil there will be a, a property when you are dealing with uh, AC currents and magnetism very similar to resistance known as inductance and the self inductance of the coil can be defined as L is equal to N phi divided by I and the unit is in Henry 
so when the coil is having a uh, ampere turns of 1 that is n phi is equal to 1 and the current flowing through the coil is equal to 1 that is this current which is which which is flowing through the coil is 1 then an inductance of 1 henry will be present for that coil and if i am bringing another coil near to this coil which is not being supplied to any voltage sources then it is seen that uh, some this the turns of this coil is n2 and the flux is phi which is flowing through the core so it is seen that uh, mutual inductance m is equal to n2 phi divided by the current through this coil due to the EMF produced could be I 1 so uh, inductance given by this equation is known as a mutual inductance or inductance due to the flux linking from the first coil is known as a mutual inductance and this is basis for the working phenomena of the equipments like transformers so this is all about knowing the mathematical form of Faraday's law of electromagnetism and the induced voltage will be given by the unit volts.